President Patrice Talon, popularly known as the King of Cotton in Bene, arrived the forecourt of the Asorok Presidential Villa at 12.06 p.m. He was received by President Muhammadu Buhari and given full presidential honor. <laughs> Both presidents later entered a closed-door session for about 40 minutes. They came out thereafter to address the press. Speaking through an interpreter, the visiting president, Talon, said there is a resolve to strengthen ties aimed at combating smuggling. We, we looked into a situation, we discussed the possibility of re uh, reactivate and re-energize uh, the relationship between trade relationship between the two countries in such a way uh, that illegal trade is, is, uh, is not encouraged and uh, that legal illicit trade I encourage so that uh, uh, things are done in the proper way. Um, we have also touched on, on an initiative that was initiated by previous heads of state, and that is to establish a zone of co-prosperity between uh, among uh, four countries, Nigeria, Ghana, Togo, and Benin Republic. He also took time to carefully fought Nigeria for allowing itself to be a mono economy despite its numerous natural resources. Depuis beaucoup d'années, a basé son économie sur le pétrole. You know that Nigeria has great potentials in many areas, but unfortunately, since uh, many years, Nigeria has led its confidence on petrol. In his speech, President Muhammadu Buhari set plans to rehabilitate the vandalized West African gas pipeline, which takes petroleum products to other West African countries, was discussed. Uh, the economic part of it is mainly energy making sure that um, the West African gas line is made much more efficient. This government is making all the effort it can to stabilize the situation because the resources are there. Uh, the world knows that Nigeria has plenty of gas. What we need to do is to stabilize the environment so that this gas can be regularly, uh, you know, pumped to the sub-region. President Buhari also noted that collaborative effort at combating crimes in the Gulf of Guinea is yielding results. The resolution between Nigeria and Bene to combat illicit trade, commonly referred to as smuggling within their common borders, is no doubt a noble one. But the question many will be asking is how will both nations combat smuggling, particularly when they have very porous borders? From the Asorok Presidential Villa, I'm Ikhro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.